Hi, I'm Rick White with Cap Treaty. I'm here at our corporate headquarters in Santa Ana, California with my 1976 Ford Bronco. I've loved Broncos since I was growing up just learning how to drive in Colorado. Clean lines, the raw power, sheer ruggedness of the Bronco made it an iconic truck in the world of American off-roading. In fact, so much so, Ford will be introducing a new model in 2021. But today, we're going to scan my Bronco and see how it's withstood the test of time over the last 44 years. Let's go. Hey, I'm Sean. And I'm Brett. And we're engineers at Capture 3D. Today we're going to be digitizing Rick's 1976 Bronco using the same 3D technology that's used by automotive OEMs, their suppliers, and race teams all around the world. I'm really excited for this project. Let's get started. Come on. So Brett, you're an application engineer with Capture 3D. So what are we going to see today? Just walk us through it. So Sean, today I want to demonstrate two different technologies. The first is going to be tri-top photogrammetry, and then we'll follow that up with our ATO 3D scanner. Both of these technologies are used in the manufacturing world from aerospace to automotive, all the way to your medical device companies. Very exciting. I know there are over 18,000 global installations already, and tri-top and ATOS, they're used for the most rigorous inspections and development and production. The processes is relied on these systems. And what makes you feel like these companies use these systems for? Why, why is it so reliable? It's a great question, Sean. These rigorous processes, to put it simply, they require data that's quality. And our scanners are known for their accuracies. When our data is used in all these numerous downstream processes, from the clay models in the design studios to your tooling and mold validations, all the way up to your final product development, you need the best data. We produce high quality, crisp, clean data. So that's why you, all these companies use our systems because they can trust our systems. Interesting, I've heard that it's, it surprises our customers how much data you're able to capture with this technology. So can you talk a little bit more about the TriTop? How does it work? So TriTop is basically a high precision point and shoot camera system to create a point cloud for single point inspection, similar to a CMM. And what we do is go around, we take a couple of shots from different angles, and we generate these points. These points have X, Y, Z coordinates on them that we can use to inspect our fixtures, our jigs, and whatever assembly setup we have. It's portable, it's easy to use, and has a very small footprint, so you can use it almost anywhere. So with starting with TriTop, let's do a little overview of the equipment we have. We have a Nikon D7100, and on the bottom of this is a Wi-Fi transmitter. We're gonna work with some coded points. We're gonna place code, uncoded markers on our part. And finally, we're gonna place scale bars on different areas of our vehicle. Okay, so the Wi-Fi transmitter, what is that used for? So the Wi-Fi transmitter, the object of photogrammetry is acquire pictures. So rather than go to the computer, we're just gonna transmit them automatically using this Wi-Fi. Okay, and then these scale bars and these, these crosses, what are these, these coded markers? So these crosses have these coded markers on them, and those are gonna be seen in the pictures to bundle all the images together. They have a unique ID around them that the software knows, and so that way it's able to, again, bundle all the pictures together. And then the scale bars. Used for scaling up your images. You need to know how large your part is, how large are your pictures. Okay, so you're able to create the, the distance, and you're also able to create a map, a constellation, let's say. And what about the uncoded markers? So when we are making this constellation, these uncoded markers are also identified with a very high precision. And these are gonna be used for assisting our scanning. So for high quality, and high precision inspection, we like to use these to hold scale to small to very large objects. 
Okay, so what are some methods, some tips you may have for the photogrammetry users? So one tip I like to say is make sure you can tilt your camera so you look at it from different angles. You want to get high shots, you want to get low shots, the better triangulate where all your points are. One common mistake though is making way too many pictures. People think more pictures is more accurate. No, better pictures is more accurate. So we're creating a global reference file and how long is this going to take us? So for today, setup and data acquisition and teardown, tritop should be about 25 minutes. So the tritop is going to take 25 minutes. What about the ATO scanning? For the Bronco, we could scan the entire outer body in 45 minutes. So you're telling me that we're going to do this entire process, the tritop photogrammetry and the ATO scanning in a little over an hour? Yeah, yeah, it's really fast. That is amazing. So we just got done taking our last shot. We see the image come in. So it's bundled everything together and what you're looking at, all those green dots are all our reference points. It's our global reference file. Those reference points are gonna help aid our scanning. We don't need to use photogrammetry though, just to remind you, but we're gonna use it to hold scale to our project because this entire part is three meters long. And when, from start to finish, we'll have a total uh, scale bar discrepancy of less than a single micron this thing's going to be held to. Pretty amazing. Once we're done with that, we can start scanning. Now we're going to take a look at the ATOS 3D scanning technology. The difference between this one and the previous technology. So the difference between ATOS 3D scanning and our tritop photogrammetry is the number of points we're able to collect. Tritop is single points for each one of these targets, whereas ATOS 3D scanning calculates millions of points for the scans. So we're able to pick up and identify very, very small details, such as the Bronco logo on the side of this, all across the entire part. And when we're done, we're gonna have a full polygonized mesh that we're able to use. So today we're using the ATOS 5. What this has is a blue light equalizer that's able to project our structured light and take a scan as quick as two tenths of a second. We have two 12 megapixel cameras, which allows us to have a very high resolution, very tight point spacing, which is going to give us clean, crisp scan data. And when we're done, we're going to output an STL. Our ATOS 5 is metrology grade, so automotive OEMs are going to use this for quality control, comparing the STL against the CAD. Other applications would be reverse engineering. Say you didn't have CAD, you could reverse engineer aftermarket parts. Or you could take the STL and use it for wind tunnel simulation. More specific to the automotive world would be identifying and calculating your hemmed edges of your doors, finding your flush and gap and how well your parts assemble, or identifying surface defects, say dents, dings, scratches, or other issues you might have on your part. Wow, that's a lot of key applications. So for today, what's our strategy? What, uh, what are, what's our setup? So I mentioned we have the ATOS 5. On our ATOS 5, we have one meter measuring volume. It's a set of lenses that are interchangeable. So if you got smaller parts where you need tighter, tight, tighter point spacing, you can take these lenses off, put a different set on, and scan very small parts. But for today, we have that one meter, which is gonna be sufficient. This ATOS 5 is mounted on a industrial camera stand. This allows for easy mobility around the car. You can raise and lower the stand, as well as tilt the articulating head. And on the back of the ATOS 5, there's a fiber optic cable that feeds that, the scan data into the computer. And this is a manual setup. It can also be mounted on a robot for an automated scanning and a repeatable process. So Brett, we get a lot of questions about our triple scan technology. We get data from the left, the right, and then both cameras together. Would you like to explain a bit more about our triple scan technology and some of the benefits? Yeah, that is the technology that sets us apart. You described it perfectly. Three sources of information is where the triple scan name comes from. And that allows us to collect data quicker, faster, and more data in one scan. Since we have these three different sources and we don't have to have all the cameras see everything at one time, 
we can get deep into pockets and able to scan complex geometries without much difficulty. <laughs> done scanning, we've processed everything, and let's take a look at the mesh. Let's zoom in on the Bronco logo. That is some crisp data we have. Now one analysis we can do that we mentioned before is gap and flush analysis. So that flush and gap for this old Bronco, you're looking at the results right there. So the flush you see in some areas a little lower than what it should be. The gap's a little bit out, but it's still I would say it's pretty good for a 40 year old vehicle. So another function that we can use this scan data for is identifying surface defects. So dents, scratches, dings, damage uh, on the surface that wouldn't otherwise be quantified, uh, you're able to identify it and value the, uh, the defect itself. So here on the side of the Bronco, you can kind of zoom in, you see there's a dent that's on the surface. If we switch to the hood and take a look at how the hood looks, you can see a lot of the paints come off and you can kind of visualize that in just the mesh. If you want to quantify that, you can do a color plot and visually see where the highs and lows are relative to each other. So that dent really stands out and that paint chips, those really stand out. And if you go get your body work done, you get your paint redone, this is a good way to quantify how much work is actually done. So we really enjoyed doing today's scanning project. Rick's Bronco was fun to scan and I learned a lot. I hope you guys did too. Brett was really informative. If you guys have any questions, you can go to capture3d.com and I'll be on the chats myself, along with the other Capture3D team members. We're more than happy to answer any of your questions. You can also leave a comment in the comment section. In the description section, we'll leave some information. You can give us a call at our offices. And if you'd like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We will be coming out with more content very soon. So thank you very much, and I hope to see you soon.